welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new thank you so much for clicking to watch this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below to so everybody who's been subscribing leaving comments you guys are amazing continue to watch my videos continue to support me and let us make sure we reach 800 subscribers i mean 900 subscribers by the end of june but to everybody who's supporting me i really do appreciate you everybody who dms me suggestions you guys that really means a lot like i can't even stress it enough to just know i think i said this in my previous video but to actually know that you guys watch my videos just means so much to me so today we're going to be talking about self-love and how i got to where i am today by loving myself and just being true to myself and i'm going to give you tips on how to appreciate yourself just how to love yourself and just how to feel yourself in your own skin you know what i mean like it's your skin so you just need to appreciate it you have that body forever and maybe just maybe it's high time that we began to appreciate the body that god has created us in so without further ado let's get right into this video during this quarantine a lot has been happening and part of um, my journey or part of my everyday routine is just evaluating my life trying to figure out exactly where I'm going wrong and the things that I can change in my life to make me a better person for other people but for myself mostly because I want to feel a certain type of comfortability and after evaluating my life I actually realized that I am in such a good place and I thank God for this opportunity to even say like yo I'm in a good place most of my friends or just the people around me i see them complaining about life you know what is going wrong things that have gone south the things that should be that are not anymore but i evaluate my life and i'm like look it's like of course my life is not perfect i feel certain type of ways from time to time but again i do acknowledge that deep down i am actually truly happy i'm not complaining at least about most of the things in my life and i'm just at a place where i look at myself in the mirror i'm like damn baby you look fine today oh my like, damn baby you're created in god's own image you know and i feel like this is what young people need because every person seems like they're seeking validation every person seems like it's like it's not perfect until somebody affirms to you or somebody tells you like it's perfect you don't like your pictures unless somebody tells you yo you look good but i feel like part of this talk that we're having today is to just get everybody to realization that you don't need people's approval and that you need to be happy in your own skin because that is who you're going to be forever you might change your outer appearance you might put on makeup but what lies within you is what god sees and is what you alone know and i just want to encourage everybody and just give you guys tips on how you can love yourself basically accept yourself and yeah so point number one is just love yourself i don't know how you're going to do it i don't know what you're going to do to make you love yourself and accept you if you're black if you're white if you're mixed if you're what 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 just begin to love yourself tell yourself this is the body that i was created in created in god's own image and it's high time i started to accept it i started to love it and i started to treat myself right loving yourself is basically doing things for yourself that make you happy initially people think loving yourself is more based on materialistic things let's say for instance if you get yourself something nice and in that moment you feel beautiful or you wear something nice and in that moment you feel beautiful but once you take that off or once the thing that you're wearing is out of style you begin to feel a certain type of way again feeling like you don't love yourself not appreciating who you are but today i just want to tell you that when you love yourself don't base your love for yourself on material things base it on something that is true something that is something that makes you happy like look at yourself and tell yourself like i am beautiful and i am black and i'm powerful and i'm amazing or i'm beautiful i'm white i am whatever race you are whatever skin you're in tell yourself this is the body that i'm in and begin to love it begin to, to treat yourself right number two after you love yourself stop comparing yourself to other people because trust me the moment you start to compare yourself to other people or the moment you start to say because this person did this 
so i should also do this is the day that you just begin to devalue yourself guess what people set standards different it's like every person has different standards set for themselves i want something they want something and it's something that we need to even take in our circle because i know for a fact that with family it's never about competition but in the circles that we're in the friends that we hang up with it's like it's always a competition and i want you to know that do not compare yourself to other people so basically even god says like do not look at what other people look at like it's like because i look this certain type of way um i want to compare myself to a person maybe who looks similar to me but guess what god forbids this and he says look i don't look at what you look at um i look at something else i look at what is in your heart and he says this in the book of samuel um 16 the 7 and it says but the lord said to samuel do not consider his appearance his height for i have rejected him the lord does not look at the things man looks at man looks at the outward appearance but the lord looks at what looks at what's in the heart and this is what god is saying it's like yo stop comparing yourself to other people i don't care about how you look like on the outside i want you from the inside this is what you need to start telling yourself like don't compare yourself to people look at what is inside you not what is outside you because always remember your inside reflects your outward your outer appearance so if you're not happy inside it's going to reflect to the rest of us on the outside set standards for yourself not based on another person's um goals when you set goals for yourself rather just set them because those are your goals don't compare another person's goals and your goals and you put them together and you say oh because they said i'm going to reach this much because i said i'm going to run this many miles so i'm going to set things state set goals rather that are realistic to you don't set goals based on another person's goals because trust me you are going to end up in a ditch speak words of affirmation to yourself i don't know if you're the type of person who wakes up early in the morning you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like ah you're all sluggish you don't like what you see today i just want to tell you like when you wake up in the morning speak words of affirmation to yourself I'm telling you guys this because that was me some time ago, some years back because I felt like I wasn't enough. Nothing I did was ever enough. There was always better people around me. But the day that I said I'm tired, I don't want to wake up and say I'm ugly or say but this person is better than me or wake up early in the morning. Look, the first thing I do is look at my Instagram and say, "Bro, there is people out there who look better than me." I'm like, "Nah, G." that is just toxic and i wake up early in the morning well, i don't look at myself in the mirror in the morning but i look at myself in the mirror like in a day i do every time i look at myself in the mirror i go dang baby you looks good and i know i looks good because do you know why god made me fearfully and wonderfully made so i need you guys to also start speaking words of affirmation to yourself begin now don't say i'll start tomorrow don't say i'll start when just start now Um, a self love tip is surround yourself with people who make you feel loved or people who at least make you feel happy but what i'm trying to say it's like i don't this is an amazing point but it brings about sometimes different um reactions and feelings to it when i take it myself even because most people mistake and self love for the love that you get around other people. Let's take for instance your person you're in a relationship and when you're with your partner you're at your happiest but when your partner is not around you don't kind of feel the same type of vibe we don't feel the same type of happiness hence you're lonely in this time of quarantine you feel like yo you're not deserving but I just want to tell you like if you take the first tip and combine it with the second tip you do realize that the first tip actually leads to the second tip because the only way you're going to feel happy is when you first love yourself it's like when other people come into your life and they make you feel a certain type of way you do recognize like yo i'm happy around these people but also even on my own i am happy so just learn to be happy on your own and then try to in, um, incorporate that happiness with again when you're around people who actually make you feel a certain type of way so these two tips loving yourself and being happy around uh, surrounding yourself with um the right people actually go hand in hand The other tip is when you're happy be happy to the fullest when you feel your most confident take a thousand selfies when you feel like yo I'm unstoppable today you feel you feel found basically most of the times 
especially as young people if there's any young person out there watching you do get this feeling where like everything is going okay but some days it's just it's just lost you know you wake up and you just don't even have the energy to keep on going but i want to tell you like days when you have the energy to do things do the things to the fullest the day that you feel like dancing and you're happy be happy to the fullest because the day that you're going to need a cry break again it is going to hit you so badly so leave the moment when you're happiest to the fullest and try to also uh, incorporate the sad times because sad times are very evident they are going to come it's not even like i'm going to be happy forever no you're not sister i'm really sorry but truth being told you're not always going to be happy and you just need to learn to be happy when you're happy and be sad when you're sad because like when i'm sad i take cry breaks like i'm gonna cry for hours and hours and hours and afterwards i'll be like yay now i feel good so when you need to be happy be happy when you need to be sad you be sad cry it out it's completely okay this is my favorite tip be kind to people the time that my let me i'm going to share a very very short story so i remember this one time i'm having a conversation with my dad and i go it's actually really crazy i go dad it's actually really crazy how you know you continuously do because my dad is an amazing person so yeah anyway so i'm telling my dad i said that it's really crazy how you continuously do things for people and they're not still willing to do the same things for you i feel like you just you know do so much for people and they do so little for you like you deserve much more than people give you don't you feel like at some point you just need to quit and he goes tori tori dr dearest let me tell you something when you do something for people, do not expect it to be done to you. Of course, you can live by the this goes live by the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But also realize that not everybody lives by the golden rule. But because you're doing it for them, don't expect it to be done to you. Do it from deep down in your heart because that is what you'd have them do to you. So even if people treat you like trash, even if people will tell you, yo, this and that and that, and they still come back to you and they need your help, just do it. Because you know what? That is what you would have them do to you if you're in a similar situation. Do not do things with expectation and this has been such an amazing lesson for me honestly and i feel like being nice i see so many nice people around and it's so amazing and yeah just being a nice person genuinely it, it pays off like it doesn't cost basically you know you've been nice and you know it's just it's just, it's just a good feeling it's just a good feeling basically last tip is stop following the crowd do you guys see what's happening on instagram you guys see what's basically happening on social media we all look alike currently <laughs> because we're all just following trends like it's gone so bad that you know we're supposed to set an environment that we're comfortable in we're supposed to live in environments like literally if you do your makeup you're supposed to be like oh this is my skin and i look good but then at the end of the day you're like oh this is my skin and i look like it I don't want to mention names, but you guys know the celebrities that we're all imitating currently. It's like, I look good. I look like, mm. but I want to tell you, like, don't go with the crowd. You know, when you do something, do it for you. Because girl, child, boy, child, you're beautiful and God calls you his very own. So, yeah, this is all that I had for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, I hope you guys have seen my new intro. Please tell me if it's amazing. I am planning on um, doing... Um, intros for you guys i know if you guys are interested in that if you'd like to see me do intros um yeah and then put them up for you guys to download that would be amazing so yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below get me to 900 subscribers i really do appreciate everybody's support thank you so much for watching have an amazing week and god bless you all